To ensure the efficient and reliable operation of your Prestige Biomass boiler, you will need to have it serviced annually or every 1200 hours, whichever comes first, by an authorised service engineer. We also strongly recommend that before the heating season that the boiler receives an interim service which includes cleaning the heat exchanger, which should be carried out by the service provider. The end user also has a part to play in regularly emptying the ash pans and giving the heat exchanger and burner plate a clean down periodically. This is covered in more detail in the quick guide booklet enclosed with each boiler. The service engineer has a number of tasks to complete as part of the full service. Tools that the service engineer will require are 10, 13 and 17 spanner, a brush and vacuum cleaner, brushes to clean the flue, drill with a 4mm and 5.5mm bits and a flue gas analyzer. Let's go through each of the tasks that need to be undertaken as part of a full service call. Clean down all heat exchanger surfaces. Open the slide plate via the controller and remove any creosote or build up of hard ash on the plate. Remove the turbulator cleaning mechanism from the boiler and clean the heat exchanger tubes. When removing the turbulators from the heat exchanger, check if the fibre board needs replacing. Service engineers often neglect to replace this board and it leads to poor quality combustion by air getting sucked in if it's not tightly sealed. Uncouple the crank arm first, then remove the bolts from before and after the pivot plates and then withdraw the turbulators from the tubes. Empty ash containers. Ensure the ash boxes are repositioned correctly. Check that the ceiling rope and the tape on the lower ash pan door and main combustion chamber door maintain a tight seal. Replace if necessary. Remove exhaust access plate and clean flue gas passageways to the flue outlet. Remove and clean the flue gas thermocouple. Completely clean the flue through the inspection door and remove the flue. Ensure that all the air holes in the burner pot are clear. This is done by drilling with a 5.5mm bit through the big holes to remove any carbon. Use a 4mm bit for the smaller holes. Check that the rope seal maintains a tight seal when replaced in the holder. Ensure you replace the plate on the burner pot and close it fully. Ensure the boiler is not running and is in the off position. Loosen the 10mm bolt holding the ignition gun in place. Remove the gun and if needed unplug the red wire for added accessibility. Replace igniter element and put the igniter gun back together. Tighten the 10mm bolt to hold it in place. Replace the panel and reinstate power. The screen will then be accessible. Press the menu button and select manual mode. Scroll down using the arrow keys and select igniter. Almost immediately you should hear the igniter activating. Empty all the pellets from the hopper. Disconnect and remove the auger motor. Firstly, remove the motor of the auger shaft, then unfix the motor bracket from the auger. Then withdraw the auger shaft from the hopper as shown here. Remove the auger and clean out any dust or debris. Check the auger bushing. To put the auger back in, remove the inspection cover of the auger housing in the hopper. Guide the auger shaft back into the top bushing and fix the motor bracket back in place. Refill the hopper with fuel and reprime the auger by going into the manual control menu as shown. Check the auger calibration process in the firing video. Record the information from the counters menu and forward the details to Woodco. Turn off the boiler on the controller and allow the heat exchanger to cool down sufficiently to avoid burns or an injury.
Open the burner maintenance door and remove the ash pan. In manual mode, activate the burner cleaning mechanism and stop when the burner plate is open fully. Isolate all electrical power to the boiler while carrying out the cleaning task. Using a scraping tool, remove all ash and hard carbon deposits from the burner plate surface. Also clean the sealing ring which is the face against which the burner plate seals against. This can be cleaned with a cleaning tool or some coarse sandpaper. On occasion, it may be necessary to remove the burner plate completely. To remove the plate, there is a spacer bolted to the underside of the plate with two bolts which need to be removed. Once the spacer is removed, the plate can slide to the side to allow the other side to be removed from the pivot point. The plate can then be fully cleaned and there is also full access to the ceiling ring surface on the burner nearest the pivot point. When replacing the plate, it is important to note the orientation of the spacer. The recess should be away from the edge. When cleaning has been completed, replace the burner cleaning access door and turn the electrical supply to the boiler back on. When the boiler restarts, the burner plate will park in the correct closed position. Woodco offers a 5-year parts-only warranty on the boiler heat exchanger against leaks and a 2-year parts-only warranty on electrical parts such as the motors, fans, control board etc. The warranty is only valid if the warranty conditions have been met. For example, the boiler has been commissioned and commissioning certificate has been returned to Woodco. The boiler has been serviced in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions and a hard copy of the annual service record is submitted to Woodco. A service history book is supplied with each boiler. The boiler has also been installed in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. An area where installers often fall down is sizing the expansion vessel correctly. Parts such as rope, fiberboard and parts that are in direct contact with the flame such as grate, ash pan etc are considered consumables and are not warrantable. These items might need replacing during a service. There is a one year warranty on the ceramic igniter. Warranty labour is already included in the wind partner and installer discount at 4% warranty labour allowance when the boiler is purchased.